Is there, I'm pretty sure there is plywood in here as well. Yeah, there's nine lumber and there should be plywood. Uh, I must have taken it all earlier, so I think it's in the furthest left hand side. But if you are building on your own, it's better to lock up your safes after you open one. <laughs> open one, you lock one. Yeah, but I think that plot pot was a bit of a was a glitched out or just a bit of a bug at the moment, but I don't know. Oh, <laughs> it's just Daisy. Anything can happen. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they can't get a sight on me. Um, I think I just opened the one to the right. It's the only problem with safes being close together is that it sometimes locks onto the other one. Uh, I think this has plywood in it. I'm not actually. I think I'm only down to the middle one now because there was I think twenty or so. So I actually might have to go and chop down more trees with the chainsaw. One of the two chainsaws we have. <laughs> Luckily enough, it was yeah. Got to lock that safe up. Make sure nobody else budges in here because I'm not sure if you can actually access it through the walls. I don't think you can because there is quite a bit of a gap. Um, that's the only problem with ladders. Which was because I was thinking if I should build a kind of a veranda on the outside and then have it like boarded up. Is it on vehicle? SUV? Where is it going? Oh, it's right there. Um, I don't think I have a vehicle at the moment, so I would have had a 350Z. Uh, actually, that's not in a good spot. <laughs> not the best spot, actually. There isn't too many spots to snap on anything, actually. Um, maybe there, but there is a field, so. I'm not sure about the hay bales, but there is a building. Two buildings, three. Although it is right in front of Devil's Castle, so. Potentially get snapped from there. Because <laughs> just over half the server is on, so. Probably best if I stick to base building. <laughs> But you don't need a a workbench or a crowbar to do this, you just need a toolbox, I think. And then that's pretty much it, and you can start crafting the plywood with two lumber. Found all of the plywood. <laughs> I thought I had quite a bit, I didn't think I had 20, but... I thought I had more than 20, so I guess I did, that was right. Um, I actually might just craft all of this lumber into plywood and then just make the walls from there. Hopefully. Maybe that'll work. But I could use cinder block, but it's probably best to use that on the outside, since cinder block is pretty much the strongest material to build out of at the moment. Should be safe to build here now that I've got the all the wooden walls up on the left hand side and then the right hand side I don't have to because I've got the default cement there and I've also got the Cinderblock doorway, so it's pretty much unbreakable, which is very useful if you're on your own. Oh, <laughs> definitely worth saving up, although they do cost a lot to get, but you can go to the building supply missions and hopefully get gear from there that is used for building. But it is random, so you could get a safe and a lockbox, or you could get wood walls, you could get sandbags and camo nets. It's just random, so it's always good. You rent on your toes, waiting for the mission, you never know what you're going to get. Don't know what to expect. <laughs> but you can make plywood packs, you just need a workbench nearby. And... A cr Ooh, I'm not sure if I should craft a shack, but you can craft metal shacks. Well, I'm not sure what they're called, a wooden shed, I think. And then it stores more gear. And it has an open and closed door that you can border off. Because you can only access the gear from the inside, I think. Uh, I'm not sure about now, but before you could access it from the outside, I think. Yeah, you could access it from the outside, so it wasn't too useful then, but hopefully it is useful now. Might have to check that out soon. After this, I should be fine to build the floors. Uh, I just need to get one more plywood out of my backpack, and then I can finally put off the remaining walls. And then, I think... The sound just bugged out before, I'm not sure. Because like, I don't think it made the crafting sound. 
At least I've got an advantage here because the hay bale's in the way. <laughs> Maybe. Unless someone can remove that by uh, in game with a crowbar. Who knows? It's gonna get this perfect. Because it is useful to sometimes build with another person, but it does sometimes slow down the process and you don't get the beauty of building it yourself. I guess. Because <laughs> building it is quite. It's quite fun, kind of. But there's a time limit now, so it's a bit of a downside, but it's okay. It means you gotta you gotta rush. And at least you won't be stuck in the unlimited time. Cause you'd be moving around in a gunfight trying to lose it, and you don't want to move out of your area of like a walled area. So then mostly get killed, but I actually might build a tower up. Because you can put, of course, as you saw me do before, you can put these walls through the default building. So we're going to build a tower up, um, but not as much people actually hop on this server anymore. Uh, depends what time though, so. Now it's doing the bug again. <laughs> Telling me that I need a plot pole within 30 meters, I think. Oh, there we go. I could press toggle snap. Um. Disable the snap. There we go. So I'm pretty sure if your modular building object, which is the wooden wall or the cinder block doorway, is in the middle of a, a default building, you can't actually snap the object. Which is good because then if someone's building onto a default building, then they won't be able to quickly do it, they'll need time. So they can't just quickly place down a plot pole to avoid combat or something. Which would be quite weird if that's what happens. Or if it may happen. Who knows. But I'll have to get rid of these plot poles. There are two over there. Uh, so there we go. Finished bordering the base. So i just go and check and see if everything is a-okay. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Close that. Because I do have a safe open, I'm pretty sure. It's not too good to leave safes open <laughs> when you're leaving your base. That's good. Alright, I think I did pretty good. <laughs> I hope so. Because the towel will come out and then we at least I'll be able to maybe see if people do come by. I'm not sure if that's a no, it's just a piece of trash. A trash pile. But we'll do the next mission when it pops up, hopefully. And then expand the base. Um, but I was thinking of doing a garage to the side and then putting a wooden floor to level this out and then just have like a a ramp or something that'll make it slant to the slant level. Because there will be a bit of a slant on the side here. Sort of go up against that and then into the mountain face. Not sure, not sure. <laughs> I could put it onto the rock though. Um, that might be a bit weird though. <laughs> but I could have the vehicle coming down from this way so the garage door would be there. But I wasn't even having the garage door on the side here, but then it would be in the ground a bit. It would be a bit hard to park the vehicle. Then the other thing was putting the whole. like expanding this up to the end of the fence line and then having that as a garage. But that would that would require a lot of cinder block walls, which are quite expensive unless you get them at missions. But they rarely spawn at missions, I think. At least whenever I go, I either find wood or cabinets or a safe in a lockbox. So I managed to craft one wall and one floor <laughs> from all of the lumber that I had, but I have got quite a bit of plywood now. But I am out of lumber, so I'm going to have to go and use the chainsaw, which is always useful to have. I think it's in the last one. Better lock this up. Actually, I'll take the large gun bag. I think I have one in here. Yeah. Make sure everything's out of this one. There's one slot left. Now there's zero. And there's back to one slot. <laughs> so then... I think I do have to refuel the chainsaw after you put it in the safe. Uh, I think it just automatically pops it out, I think. I'm not sure. 
But I will just go to the trees, maybe behind the hill or something. Maybe just nearby, just in case I get shot at and I can just run back to base. Or at least it'll be near cover. I'm not sure if I had to maintain or not. Hasn't been that long. Nope. No maintenance. There we go. So I've got 16 liters, which you come with... Well, when you first mix the jerry can and the two-stroke engine oil, it's 20 liters, but... Each time you fill it up, it goes 4 liters, so you get 4 reloads, which is 1,000. And you can reload this if you still do have the mixed gas in your inventory, because you can see the top right hand corner. I've got 1,000 out of 1, so 1,000 I think gas chambers out of <laughs> 1,000 liters. There we go. I guess, maybe, I'm not sure. But 1,000 uses out of 1 reload. I guess. I can only reload it once since I've only got one. But you get a total of four reloads. So if that makes any sense, don't know if it does. So there's actually a new mission, a mad scientist. Oh, uh, but it's like all the way up north. <laughs> Which is pretty much in the middle of nowhere. And I think there's actually a base up there that is with the clan. And they just pretty much kill anyone who flies over. Or probably drives, but I guess there'll be less of a chance of getting killed if you drive. Because you have got the cover of the forest. Nice. <laughs> and you do get quite a bit of lumber from these trees, but the thick trees give you the most. Uh, which, hopefully, I'll oh, go this one. Down here, see how much I get. <laughs> but, th as you can see, this does give you straight to lumber. Instead of using a hatchet, and you only get 31, that is so much, that's probably the most I've ever gotten. And I think the most before was 25 or something like that. Around 25, but 31? <laughs> that's insane. Can I just film a whole backpack, but I think I weigh... How much do I weigh? 335 pounds, and I will pass out. There's actually a weapon there that I might put in one of the safes that I could probably sell, because... Doesn't seem to have a magazine spawn nearby. Lock the lock the door since I have my own. And I will be expanding. I've got an idea. <laughs> I'm just gonna go for it this time. Um I might as well, because it will be helpful if we do get under attack, hopefully. Probably won't have enough room <laughs> for all the lumber at the moment, but I think not. Still doesn't have a description. I don't think it ever will. The M2 machine gun or the MK, any of the heavy uh, weaponry ammo, so. But if it would tell you which vehicle it goes for, because some vehicles don't have it, but it's quite easy to tell which ones need it and which ones don't. Especially the HE rounds. <laughs> Only a few vehicles need it. But since I've filled up, I think I have 45 in there, and then I've got 30, roughly, maybe? In my backpack and inventory, yeah. About 30. 23. <laughs> Close enough. So I'll just start crafting and then I think I should be good to go to at least build a few walls and then I should be okay to start building. So with these wood walls I can then craft a large wall which will be obviously larger by the name. It will give me more height and more width. So bonus <laughs> I guess. But you could use just third walls, although you'd get more out of the full wall, even though it means more lumber and more plywood, but it's a good trade-off, because you can either craft a doorway with this or yeah, or a window, which you can shoot out of, but you can also get shot through wooden st structures, so it's better to have the top as a cinder block and then just the tower up as wood, since in case it does get broken into or exploded by a formal vehicle <laughs> or gun system or whatever that has been used against your base you can easily just repair it because it's only wood and wood is easy you can just use it from the trees near your base or it's nearby and they do respawn after every restart of the trees and wood is less expensive to maintain which is good so it is probably going to go up the top out of there so then I'll have a better visibility of the road since it'll be closer, even though it's only like a 
10, 15 meter gap, maybe 30 meter, I'm not sure, don't know, <laughs> 20 meter maybe, if that. 